Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today I am celebrating a birthday, actually. Play Canvas just turned one. Now, if you've never heard of it, Play Canvas is an HTML5-based 3D game engine. It's kind of a two-parter. Uh, on the one hand, it runs um, completely open source, MIT licensed on GitHub for the engine component, and then there's an editor built on top of it that you can use at playcanvas.com. Those two to go together to probably create uh, what is the best pure 3D HTML5 game engine out there. And what you see in front of you is a uh, the light mapper demonstration. This is a 200,000 polygon scene running at uh, pretty much 50 frames per second, 60 frames per second most of the time. Um, but the kicker is this is running in my browser on my Intel integrated GPU. So I have my dedicated GPU turned off to show you this case. So this is a capable engine, uh, especially for a browser based engine. It can do some pretty remarkable things. Now, it's also spinning up my uh, CPU fan quite a bit, so I'm going to shut that down. Uh, but basically, they just reached their 1.0 release. It's available at playcanvas.com. I will link that down below. And there's not a whole lot to this release, to be honest. If you go to the release notes, um, there's actually literally nothing to it. Uh, there was one fix particular to this actual release. But what they did is they recently added a layering system, and they basically called their engine mature at this point. Now, if you've never used Play Canvas before, uh, I'm actually quite a big fan of it. In fact, I did a full tutorial series on creating a bowling game. I will show you that in a second and link that down below. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth of how to use Play Canvas, but I thought I would bring it to your attention since today is after all, or yesterday technically, is after all its birthday. Um, so here is that level we were just looking at. Uh, as you can see, there's a full editing environment. You can navigate around it, pretty straightforward. Uh, create entities, uh, place items, etc. So here is your uh, like the web-based control panel, and here's that game I was talking about earlier. Um, go ahead and let's open that up. So this is the uh, commercial built on top IDE. So if you don't need the editor, etc., you can use the underlying engine completely free. It's a GitHub link. I will link that down below as well. And like I mentioned earlier, it's MIT licensed, but uh, the editor itself is also very polished. Here is where you do your editing. Over here is your scene hierarchy. You can see I've got, uh, for example, bowling ball, a bunch of bowling pins, lane, and let's look at the ball as an example here. And you'll see this is yet another component-based game match, and this seems to be the dominant way of doing things these days, um, with Godot being one of the few exceptions, and technically node-based and component-based aren't that dissimilar from each other. Uh, but as you can see, I've got a sound attached to this guy, a collision, uh, a 3D model, a rigid body, and then a script controlling it. They're all attached as components. Uh, bringing in assets is as simple as coming down here and doing an import. It supports all the files you would expect. So you can bring in an FBX file, you can bring in texture files, etc. Uh, you can create material files like this. The materials can be made up of um, various different pieces. Um, it supports a PBR based workflow if that is your jam. Um, and realistically, this is the engine. Again, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because I do have a step-by-step -step tutorial that actually shows you how to create this particular game, which is available right here, and I will link this down below. Uh, but if you are looking at creating a 3D-based um, HTML5 game, Play Canvas is probably the best option out there. Uh, there were some other engines like Turbulence, but they seem to have fallen off. And then, of course, you've got HTML export from engines like Unreal, Unity, Godot, etc. But they're creating normally WebAssembly-based unreadable HTML. So debugging those in the browser is a veritable nightmare, potentially. So if you're just creating your game for HTML5 as the target, working with an HTML5 editor makes a whole lot of sense. And on the topic of uh, Unity there, there's actually a full Unity scene importer available for the Play Canvas, can bleh, Play Canvas game engine. So uh, that's it for now. That is the uh, Play Canvas happy birthday announcement. It's cool to see Project hit a 1.0 release, especially one that's been around and with us for several years now. It's a very mature product. Uh, you can go and check out the uh, full online version. You can't export out, you can't create private projects with it, but you can create a project up to 200 megabytes worth of assets, I think it is. And it's um, very, very easy to get going with. Um, or if, of course, if you want, you can just work with the underlying engine that's available source code form from GitHub. And I will again throw all those links down below, as well as the link to this particular tutorial, which also has a, if you go to the very bottom, not that far to the bottom, 
All right, maybe it's part two. Uh, there is a full video version of this tutorial uh, right here, which will bring you back to the wonderful world of YouTube. So that's it. That is uh, Play Canvas. Happy birthday, Play Canvas. Great job hitting the 1.0 release. And uh, if you haven't checked it out already, it's probably worth doing. All right, I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.